Clean sheet for me. I always like to have a clean sheet. Uh, it's a, it is a bonus always, so I would prefer to have a clean sheet and have a couple of saves uh, where I help the team, obviously. It depends the the, the score, obviously. If it's 1-1 and uh, it is uh, like uh, saving uh, and keeping us in the league, of course, I would prefer to, to, to choose uh, uh, saving the penalties, but... Uh, if it's a zero zero and it's a penalty, it depends on the situation, obviously. You know? So every keeper wants to keep a clean sheet. I think all of the defenders are desperate to have a clean sheet as well. And then it's obviously up to the strikers and the other lads to score some goals. When I when my when I, when my agent called me and uh, he said like Newcastle is interested to sign me, uh, I was I was super happy, obviously, because I knew how big. Newcastle is as a club and what kind of fan base uh, uh, the club has so uh, <laughs> I, I didn't wait you know I was like all right just give me a contract and I want to sign immediately so uh, it was a massive massive step for me for my career you know so uh, I wouldn't wait you know so um, uh, I said it many times uh, I feel like a home here I love the club I love the fans I like the people around the club uh, so it is beautiful for me to be here and it's such a privilege for me to to represent a club like this. Uh, I have to say, Newcastle is a great size of the city. It's, it, it's not massive, you know, it's a good size. You have everything what you need. You have a nice place where you can visit. So you can go to the Time Mount, which is always nice to be there uh, when it's a nice weather. Uh, I love the people, like they talk, you know, even the Jordi accent, I quite enjoy that. So it is difficult understand for us uh, but I'm doing my best so uh, it is nothing what I can uh, what I can say against uh, seriously uh, it is up north the only thing what could be better is the weather but much with that so challenge I, I have so many challenges depends you know uh, I always try to challenge myself so I did the skydiving, for example, or bungee jumping. Uh, the life challenges, obviously, you have uh, different situations, uh, different period of your life, obviously. So when I was studying in a high school to to finish the high school, there was a massive challenge, uh, massive challenge to coming from the youth uh, academy into the first team, you know. So that was a massive challenge. So I think it's important to have a challenges and targets in your life. So, and if you have it, you try to reach it. So I think good question, uh, and I still have some some goals which I want to want to reach. Skydiving, bungee jumping. I, I guess you don't do them anymore, do you? You can't do them now as a, a footballer, can you? I can't, but uh, I shouldn't do it before as well. But I did it because I like adrenaline, you know. So I shouldn't do it. I like snowboarding as well, uh, which is very dangerous, especially for the for the keepers when you are. If you fall down and you break your wrist, your car can finish. So you have to be really careful. But on the other side, I want to live my life as well. So you have to find the balance, I think. <laughs> I remember that one. I remember that one. It was a cross and I couldn't breathe. So Matty was the closest one. And I just said, Matty, just slapped my back. But I didn't expect that he has that much power. So <laughs> it wasn't the best one. It helps, uh, but as a celebration, this best celebration, Maxi has a couple of nice ones, I have to say. John Joe had the typical one for him when he do these kind of things for the for the brother, I think. So a couple of good, couple of good celebrations there, uh, but Maxi is probably on top of it. <laughs> Question is that? Uh, I don't know. I have a long legs. I have to say, I'm not the tallest one, but I have a long legs, and I don't have a short arms as well. So uh, the balance somewhere in between. So I don't want to be massive, like in a crazy size. So it's difficult to answer which one I would prefer. The Slovakian national food called halushki, probably because it's typical for our country. 
Uh, I, to be honest, I miss the Slovakian cousin because it's, it's so good. Uh, but maybe before because of I'm Slovakian, you know, so it's typical for us, and I like to eat the Slovakian food. But uh, halushki would be probably on top of it because it's so nice. It is, it is difficult to describe. Um, it is from potatoes as well, uh, from cheese, special cheese, uh, bacon on top. Um, it's lovely. Maybe it doesn't look uh, the best, but it tastes fantastic, I have to say. So I would recommend the British to try and they will see, obviously, you can see. The second one would be probably the schnitzel, uh, the Wiener schnitzel with the, with the mashed potatoes, probably these two dishes. I, I'm not a superstitious, but obviously I have my routines, you know, so I'm not like I have to do this because uh, of some kind of routines. I, I, I just feel comfortable, comfortable to do it, you know, so I said that many times after warm up, I go to the shower for 10 seconds, depends on the weather, obviously the cold water or warm, uh, warm water, hot shower. So um, that's the only thing what I'm doing, actually, because um, I don't think it's right to have uh, some kind of uh, routines and go too much into deep uh, because if you miss it then can go deep to, uh, in deep into your mind and then you can struggle with your performance definitely not as a right back or left back i don't want to be there because they run so much um, it is hard to pick one i like to be in midfielder because i like the ball you know they are they have probably a ball a lot of time so probably i would swap with john joe he can go to the goal i would run a lot probably uh, because when i'm playing with my friends i'm running a lot uh, even without the ball so i have no problem with running uh, i have i don't have a problem to be honest defending as well but i i think it's a hard job you know to defend properly defend uh, but i would love to try and be in that position you know but obviously not in the premier league because it's a different level but I would love to try one day. The biggest motivation for me always been to play in one of the best leagues in the world, which I'm happy that I'm in the best league in the world and uh, to reach 100 appearances would be massive success for me. So um, this is the target what I had before and I'm, I'm really happy that I could reach it. Uh, and what I want to do after car, I didn't decide it now. Obviously, I spent so many years in the football and it would be nice to stay and, uh, and give my experience to the young generation and give them some advices as well would be nice. But on the other side, it means that your life will not change. And I, I would love to probably change something, something in my life after the career. So I, I, I didn't decide it yet. Uh, and I still hope that I have a couple of years in, ahead of me. So I don't need to decide it. But uh, I would obviously uh, would love to give the advices and experience to the young generation because I think especially the football in my country need the people uh, who was uh, I can say successful and or, or playing in a, in the big, big, biggest league in the world so they can ask and they can have advice for me so I would love to do that but we'll see what the life what life will bring it so maybe that's when we'll start seeing you doing the more bungee jumping and uh, <laughs> jet skiing and all that I have a little boy now so I have to be careful you know so I can't do it now. But it doesn't mean that your life stops, you know. So I'm, I still have some kind of ambitions uh, in a personal life, in a football life. So uh, it's still, you know, I'm trying to be a, still alive and active, an active person, learn. That's, I think that's the most important thing to learn, no matter what, uh, what is interesting for you, but to learn and don't stop because if you stop it and then you are satisfied, it goes down there.